Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-September reading. Jupiter just went direct today and that's what I have been waiting for. Ooh, Jupiter goes direct in Capricorn and suddenly out of nowhere, things start to make sense. So it would have been really irritating for me to stand by your side as you were sinking into quicksand and say, hey, you're gonna have to run a race soon. Are you ready? Hey, you're gonna have to get out of that muck and get moving. And everything is gonna start shifting. Are you ready? No, <laughs> Mars is retrograde in your 10th house. You're not ready, you're resting, but not like resting against your will, your mind playing a million tricks on you. But Jupiter is going direct. Well, Jupiter is direct now. Yay! So what does that mean? The money and the power. This stagnation. This fearful thinking. Today it leaves. And although Mars is still retrograde and will be until mid-November, you can start to feel the engine revving. Wheel of Fortune, things move forward now. And if you've been feeling intensely alone, this kind of fatalistic, I have no prospects, what's going on? I was so hot for a second and now I feel deprived, diminished, not not really very optimistic about the future, especially romantically, what's happening? I feel worried and stuck in the mud. No, no, that's just all that time that Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto are retrograde across from you, not letting anything through not letting anything come to fruition, not letting anything move. And sure, after a while, you start taking that out on yourself. That makes sense. That is your nature anyway, is to make sure everybody is fine and that you are also fine. And if you are not fine, then it is your fault in your mind because you should have taken better care of it. You are the cardinal sign of care. Are you not? So how could you not care for yourself? This is what's been going on and it's been making you tired and anxious and feeling extremely stuck. And there was really nothing to be done about it until today. And now, as things begin to move, there is a whole other set of actions to consider. So the past couple of weeks, take that as the Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. We can talk about it, but you know how it's been. It's all right here. It's been confusing. There's a sense of, it's kind of, looming, lethargic funk that you've been in. When you want something, anything to move and the pressure keeps building, but it won't break. It can become such a wear, right? It can become so exhausting. It strips you of your energy slowly because unconsciously you're waiting for life to move as it does, but it's not moving. And no matter how long it took you to come back around to somehow this is your fault, we know that's what you were thinking. 
if I had done this instead of this, perhaps I wouldn't be here right now. If I hadn't said this, or maybe if I had, perhaps I, but perhaps you needed to be here. Perhaps the most important part of a retrograde transit is the part right before it goes direct. When you're in the thick of it and you almost feel like you can't take any more, but there's a lesson that's smacking you in the face. And the reason it's so confining and it makes you feel so stuck is because that's not a lesson you want to learn. And that's not a concept that you want to indulge. You don't want to think about it. And what is it with all those retrogrades in Capricorn and now Mars in retrograde in your 10th house, what is it? that you're hiding from, that you don't want to think about, that you struggle against making anything more important than acknowledging what's happening here. Another person, a love interest, work, money worries, you'll put anything before examining and processing what drives you. Even if it's a prolonged stagnation and you're not left with much choice, you would rather sink into a place of melancholy and sadness instead of facing what it is that this period wanted to teach you. And what is that? What's all this trudging up the past and looking at what you've done? Is it so you can blame yourself? Was that the reason? Was that the purpose? I don't think so. I think that you're being prepped for really big things. And it's really important to know the good and the bad about yourself and to be okay with it. To know your weaknesses so others can't use them against you before you are put in a position of power and privilege before you engage in a meaningful relationship, before you become a voice that people want to hear, before your blessings that have been waiting patiently for you to get here can show up. And it's like there is a window here. Jupiter goes direct and you have a chance to get this wheel of fortune spinning. And all these things start to happen and you feel more and more brave and more and more strong and more and more opinionated, more and more vocal, more and more lucky, more and more popular, boom, 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 boom. Everything starts to ramp up. And then you gotta make a decision. You gotta, you gotta grab these opportunities. You gotta move on these ideas. You gotta be brave right now. No more being scared. And yeah, the things you're doing, some of them are great and they're safe. I'm saying take a risk. Take a risk on your most creative idea. See what happens. But do something in this interim between the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Do something before it all starts to feel useless again and you slip back into this stagnation and this depression here. This sadness. From today and for the next four weeks or so, you have the opportunity to just rush forward. Your plans, your ideas, your travels, your love life, everything starts to move. Your love life may have started to move a bit in the past couple of days, but very slow. And you've just been wondering like, what is this? But from today on, it gets, it gets, uh, it gets hot, it gets heavy. And if you're thinking, I don't even know anybody that I would be that way with, like, what do you mean? You're just waiting. These things have a way of showing up. And what if you don't miss your chance? What if you do take advantage of the energy? What if you don't 
let yourself get scared of the possibilities and let yourself be afraid of that Mars retrograde wanting you to fight with everyone and, and, and everyone getting on your nerves. What happens if you don't do that? What happens if you see this as a very clear road sign to not do that for the next three to four weeks? Then you're entering a period where a serious relationship is making its way to you probably even this month. Well, what's left of this month and into October, like this fall, this season. It's, it's diligently working its way to you and you're diligently working your way to it. So it's all good news. Keep taking the opportunities. Keep, you know, when the hand reaches out, grab what it's giving you. And keep yourself, for God's sake, more than anything else, keep yourself level. Keep that mind and heart level. Don't let, don't let the heart have all the fun here. Got to be a little more strategic than that right now. You know, it's okay to be all heart, but you got business to handle. You know, you have decisions to make. You got, you got work stuff here too, money stuff. There's a lot of abundance here. And a lot of, oops, you missed it as well. Because if you stay in the sad, depressive state, oops, you missed it is what happens. So, okay, the period right before the, what's it called? Oh my God, I can't, slingshot. Right before the slingshot is released. Yeah, you had that immense drag backwards, okay. But now that it's being released, now that it's let go, you fly forward, so fly forward. Anything in this, you know, six, seven month period back here, any, any trauma you've picked up, any bad feelings, any fears or anxieties, now is the time to leave them way behind. It's an exercise I would like for you to try with yourself of really leaving things behind not one little tiny piece of your claw still dragging you know no just leaving it behind and not because you want to get out of the quicksand you're already going to get out of the quicksand that was already going to happen but because you're genuinely excited about this energy and you want to move forward and you're tired of standing still cardinal energy hates this stagnation but now If you're enthusiastic about this energy, it'll just multiply. You can attract more and more and more to yourself and stay away from where you've been and never go back there if you just build yourself up right now. Don't listen to anyone, don't rely on anyone, don't ask anyone's opinion and don't ask anybody for help. This is your energy, this is your flow. And you've been waiting a while for this, right? You know what to do. You know how to up this game. You know how to spiff yourself up, make some good deals, start some new ventures, right? Put out some new projects of some kind. You can do it, you can do it. You've been thinking about it. You've been planning, even if nobody knows. All of that, all of that is possible and goes into effect now if you wanted to. Okay. All right, well, we'll get into the extended. We'll talk about this earth sign, this air sign, and this Sagittarius and whatever is going on here, Lord. 
If you would like a personal reading, either a live video chat one-on-one -on -one or a recorded reading sent to you, those links are below as well as the links to the extended that I'm going to do now. These are the Revolution Rings. They're available at a link below and there's also an Instagram link below where you can check out RevFam Sporting the Rings. If you're interested in a daily horoscope, you can check out at The Quietest Revolution on Instagram. There's a link below to that as well. I love you, love you. It's not late. It's Jupiter Direct. <laughs> I'll see you in the extended right now.